Now if you think the only job of an umbrella is simply keep you dry from the rain, then you're wrong. Why? Because after you've been in the rain and you go indoor, obviously your umbrella is all wet and it will drip water which will get your pants or your shoes wet. So let me introduce you to Unarella. Now I call it the Ferrari of umbrellas, simply because it keeps you dry before and after the rain. Now remember, if you like this video or found it useful, please give me a like. If you like what I'm doing and want to see more, then obviously subscribe to my channel or like my Facebook page. So Unarella stands for Not Wet Umbrella and it's a product from a Japanese company called WPC. So there are three types, there's the long one, there's the short one and the press release. So the long ones state they are roughly around 90.5 centimeters long and the one I have in my hand is a short version and supplied by Searching Sea, their authorized seller in Hong Kong. So this one right now only measures up to 26 centimeters. So what do I call it the Ferrari of umbrellas? You gotta visualize this scenario. A person buys a great European car, well fancy the car is also red. Now there's nothing wrong with the car and obviously it's brand new. And then another person shows up in a red Ferrari. Like besides the red looking better, the functions are very similar. I mean, it's got four wheels and all, but everything is just tiny a bit better. Why is it tiny a bit better? Take a look in the following sections to see why. As it's actually quite hard to know when the rain would start or stop. So here I'm gonna be quickly getting in the rain and testing it out. Uh, so around 20 seconds, I'll be showing you roughly how the water slides off the umbrella. So coming back into the shade area. So you can probably see like the water actually slides off the umbrella. Now I'll be flicking it out once. Now you can see that 90% of the water is already gone. If I flip it three more times, pretty much all the rain's off. If you do see any more rain on the umbrella, it's actually because of uh, the wind bringing in the actual rain on the umbrella. So the Unarella, just showing you how it's actually built. So here, there's the button. Now when you open it up, you probably realize there's three sections to the umbrella. So there's the first part, the second, and then the third part. So there's a total of three sections to the umbrella. Now, unlike traditional umbrellas, Unarella is actually pretty steady and firm. Now, you'll see this part. I call it the bones. I'm not exactly sure what they're called. Now, this bone section is roughly around half a centimeter thick, which traditional umbrellas, they're roughly around 1.5 mm or 1 mm thick. So in comparison, this is 5 mm. So that's roughly over three times as thick. So when it comes to being steady, like this is a lot more steady than traditional umbrellas. Now you probably notice uh, here, there's also like a metal, like a thin, thin, uh, crisp, thin metal wire that's joined by some plastic. This is actually to create some stability as well. And then the third section here, it's just another rod. Now, when you use the umbrella, you probably realize uh, this part flips up quite often, which is actually very normal because of the way it's built. Like here, this is how it contracts. So obviously when there's a very strong wind coming in, this will be the first part that bends up, but it's actually not to worry. It's not gonna break the umbrella simply because of the way it's structured. Now, if for example, like if the wind comes through this, this way, into an umbrella. What you realize is this part actually bends up. At the point where it's, the wind's so strong and it'll bend, it's not gonna break it because this part's gonna be stopping it. You see here? So that means like, at the most, this part will be still flat, laid open, wide open, and this part will just come up top. So it's, I mean, when the wind's that strong, probably it's not that wise to open up the umbrella anyway. So here, so I mean, when, when it comes to how long will the umbrella last for, as long as you don't actually, like, as long as you use it very sensibly, it should actually quite outlast any umbrellas on the market right now. So a few things 
Uh, there's the price of the long version, which is 349 Hong Kong dollars. And then there's the short version, so this one, that's 279 Hong Kong dollars. And the push-up button one, that's the 399. Now, because everything about this umbrella is in the traditional ones and the materials are obviously in better quality. So obviously that comes at a greater price too. So you won't find that at some like cheap, cheap stores where they sell for like 50 bucks for one. I mean, obviously. Now, one thing definitely you need to know is that uh, you don't have to worry much about the wear and tear because they have actually recommended that as well as on the website and everything that the water repellent for the material, they recommend to use the blow dryer or maybe iron iron the umbrella once in a while to maintain its effectiveness. Now, one thing you probably have, you'll be happy about owning this is that instead of like having your umbrella open for it to dry, like whether it's in your office or at home, you don't need that because obviously you've seen in the testing video where I just have to open, close, open, close three, four times and then pretty much 100% of all water is off the umbrella. So after that, obviously you can just put it back in its pocket and put it in your backpack. So that's a very, very good idea that I like about this umbrella. Uh, there's many colors for it to choose from. So take a look. My personal favorite is the blue because there's something about the blue that really attracts me. It's like the Ferrari blue, but I don't know, like it's just maybe I'm a boy, like I'm a male, so I like the blue things. Now, environmental friendly, like instead of uh, having your wet umbrella and you get those uh, plastics, plastic bags in the, in the shopping centers or shopping malls, like I don't have to do that because your umbrella is dry by the time you get in. So that's also another good point about it. Now, there's something very funny and very weird about owning this umbrella. It's one of those things where you take the credit of other people's idea and you think it's yours. So when you own, like how I think is, when I own such a cool umbrella and then you see other people using the traditional umbrellas, you actually do think inside you, like thinking to other people, like don't you wish you were like me that you own this sort of umbrella? So that's, it's not a good thing, but I don't know, personally, I, I really do like this umbrella. And in terms of recommendation, I would probably like owning a small version as well as the long version. So the small version I can put in my backpack for everyday use, like for example, uh, commuting to work or whatever. And then the long one is when I bring it out like uh, at night time or whether it's uh, over the weekends. So this is my opinions and I hope you guys enjoy it.